Hey guys, it's me. It is 7.25 in the morning. Um, I know you can't really see me. Um, I just picked up some Starbucks and I am headed down to Royal Oak to go to Douglas J. Aveda Salon and Institute. Um, and I'm going to bring you guys with me. Um, getting some services done. I will be getting a body treatment, which is like a massage type thing. Um, and I'm getting my hair done. So that's why this mop is all tied up in a bun. And um, yeah, I'll take you with me. And I've got about an hour and a half drive. So that is why I'm leaving so early on a Saturday morning. Okay guys, I just got down to downtown Royal Oak and I'm heading to Douglas J. Aveda Salon and I'm super excited. Of course I'm running late because there's a shit ton of traffic down here. Hey everyone, I just wanted to stop by really quick in this video and kind of talk about my experience um, at Douglas J. Aveda Institute. Um, that weekend was kind of a whirlwind. I was down in Royal Oak by 9 in the morning, which means I left my house at 7 in the morning here. And um, I spent all day there. I got the most amazing massage. Um, which you're gonna learn about later and um, obviously got my hair done which took um, a couple hours so by the time I was kind of like going through everything it was a little bit hard for me to like film a follow-up because I was driving home and it was like a Saturday and I wanted to get back to the city so um, it was just a lot for me to record all in one session so I kind of figured okay it's been a couple weeks I wanted to pop in I guess not a couple weeks we're going on to our second week um, I wanted to pop in and do like a little follow-up that I could insert into this um, vlog for you guys um, I just got back from work, so, you know, my hair is not in its prime. I, I curled it this morning, so it would be at least decent by the time I got home to film this. Um, but I literally, like, I got home, I threw some lipstick on to kind of, like, fancy myself up to be uh, video ready, and, like, that is about it. So, um, forgive me if I don't really look camera ready. Like, I've just been working all day. So... I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Douglas J and tell you about the Institute itself and just kind of how my experience was because um, I know you know it looks cool through the camera lens but it doesn't really tell you a lot and um, just in case you're not interested in reading a blog post I want you to be able to watch this film um, and be able to get some input on that uh, what they have to offer um, without having to read through the blog post itself in case that's not something you're interested in. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to kind of share with you some of my thoughts on my experience and um, if I would go back again and what tips I might have for you. Okay, so the first thing I did was I got there at 9.15ish because I, I was running a little late. There's so much construction down there in Detroit. Um, and I ran, went right into my massage, which I had like a body treatment where they like rubbed a salt scrub all over my body and like I got to pick the scent I wanted for the oil, which I of course went with the 
traditional Aveda smell because if anybody's used their products before, it's so good. Um, and so they like kind of rubbed it all over. Um, and it was just, it was such a nice experience. I've never felt so soft and smooth and like my skin just kind of felt rejuvenated, which was amazing. Some things to keep in mind about that, you know, you, you do have to get undressed. So if that's something that you're uncomfortable with, you know, um, I encourage you to still try and be open to it because these girls and I'm sure men that do these treatments, like they're, they're in the field because they want to make you feel better. They're not there to be judgy or to be like, oh, girl needs to lose two pounds. Like that's not why they're there. Um, I know we all have our own insecurities, but um, if you can get past that whole like being naked or half naked in front of somebody, um, I suggest you really, really do try to experience it because everyone deserves a nice relaxing massage and to be kind of pampered and um, I wouldn't want that to hold you back from trying it because it's totally worth it and the people, every single person that I came in contact with that day was amazing. So. Um, Totally try it out. That'd be my only tip though, or I want you to have a heads up that you do kind of have to get um, mostly undressed. Uh, you're under a towel or you're under a blanket the whole time, so you shouldn't feel like, you know, you're overly exposed, but some people still aren't comfortable with that, so it's something to keep in mind, you know? Um, but it was such a good experience, and I couldn't obviously film a lot of it because I was covered in salt and oil, and I was wrapped up like a little burrito, which was totally like, I didn't even know that I wanted to be wrapped up like a little burrito, but I did. It was so good. So, um, you know, in the bottom here, I'm gonna have link, a link to all of their services so that you can kind of see what they have to offer in regards to body treatments and um, facials and things like that. So definitely check out the website below um, and also check out if you have one of these institutes near you because there are quite a few. Now getting into the hair, which I think is probably the majority of the stuff that people go to them for, um, or is the most popular thing that people go to them for, um, I think there's some fear for people in regards to like, okay, I'm not going to go to a beauty school to get my hair done by a student because they could totally fuck it up. And that's true. They could, I guess, you know, I think we've all had experiences with stylists who are licensed and they've still messed up our hair. So, you know, it's always a risk to go get your hair done because obviously anybody could screw something up. Like mistakes happen, we're human and like, yes, that's a risk, but I don't think that that's what should be holding you back from going. Um, if you've read my blog post through it all, you'll see that um, every student is paired up with a master stylist or their educator, and that person is constantly checking in to make sure that they're doing um, what they're supposed to do. So I went in, I had a couple months ago dyed my hair red, like golden coppery, reddish, blonde, brown, I don't know. It faded pretty quick, so I kind of then went through a phase of being like rose gold, and then I was kind of back to being brown, but it had like these weird parts where it was clearly still red. So I wanted to kind of go back to what I was originally rocking for the past couple of years, which is kind of, you know, the ombre or bilash. I hope that's how you say it. Bilash. Um, style highlight, because it kind of lets me um, grow my highlights out without feeling like I have to upkeep them every couple of weeks. Like, I don't, I mean, I get it. Like, it looks like I have a ton of roots. I do. Um, but it kind of looks like I've just been out in the sun and, like, gotten some golden blonde highlights naturally. I don't know if it looks natural, but it was the look I was going for. Bring in a picture. They are learning. Um, they'll talk with you, you'll talk with your um, student stylist, and then they'll bring over their educator and they'll kind of talk to their educator about what what you're asking for, for from them. So they're kind of kind of review it and talk through it, and then their educator is going to look through your hair and say, okay, I would recommend that you do this or this or this. What are your thoughts on that? Or, hey, like we can't give you that look today because of where your hair's at. 
um, it's too damaged, it's too dark, but we can do this. So they're gonna talk to you like any other stylist and confirm that you know they can do what you want them to do. The biggest thing to keep in mind is some time management. And that goes um, for everybody that comes there, whether it's a salon service, a manicure, a pedicure, a facial, or a haircut. Um, they are students that are learning. That is the reason you're getting such a nice discount on their services is because they know that you're putting in so much more time with them. Um, you're not going to go in and get a haircut in 30 minutes. Like it's not possible. If you want that, you can go to Fantastic Sam's or Bow Ricks. But if you want a legit haircut that is going to look good, and it's gonna be done in a quality manner, do not show up and request that they hurry up or um, tell them that you have an appointment to get to. This is not like a walk-in type service place if you are on a quick little schedule. You need to plan appropriately and make sure that you give them time. And it was homecoming season and like I swear, pff, the whole salon was filled with girls that wanted to get homecoming hair and curls and waves. And you know, like some of the attitude from these 16 year olds um, wanting them to hurry up, like no, that's not how that works. Be be kind and be respectful and realize that like you're helping these people learn these girls and guys learn and um whenever we learn something new it takes longer there's a chance you are their first customer that they've ever done highlights on or that they've ever done bylage on so um you know you gotta just you have to be patient the salon is so nice it was so clean it does not feel like you're in a classroom um, the actual classroom like where the classes are held uh, if you look closely you can see the classroom but really it's quite hidden you wouldn't really know um, that there was a classroom in there um, and just the entire feel of the place like all of the girls when I was done with my hair they like came over to look at it and they were congratulating Sarah um, on how good she did and like oh my god look at that blend like it looks so good which it totally does I mean she I mean knocked it out of the park I could not be happier um, if she was working at a salon down the street from me or even if I had to drive an hour to go get my hair done by her I would because I am 100% impressed with how well she did um, but just that like really positive atmosphere like it gave me the confidence to know like this is legit this is you know this is not like a half-assed in hair beauty school Institute like like this is worth every moment you're gonna spend in the chair um, and everybody was just so kind they'll get you water they'll you know they're checking in on you um, and if you want to buy Aveda products, you can do so like when you when you leave um, There is a whole section of Aveda products um, that you can obviously Purchase for yourself to take home the students um, They don't really push for you to buy anything. You know some salons are really pushy on trying to sell um, product to you uh, that's not the vibe I got they do educate you you know um, because you have highlights or because your hair is somewhat somewhat damaged this is a product I I'm gonna use on you um, it's a hair mask and blah 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 and it's gonna add moisture or hey like for me hey you have really fine hair so you need to add volume to it this is what I would recommend and so they kind of you know showed me what they were using so you get the Aveda products um, while you're getting your hair done that's what they're using on you in that moment so that's kind of cool too because you get to um see what they would recommend aveda products obviously i love them they're cruelty free um they smell fantastic and um i have not met a single person that does not absolutely love their products so um that's my little follow-up for you i have the links to everything below um, there will be a future blog post that reviews specifically the salon experience and some of the things that I would recommend or suggest um, that you keep into consideration when booking your appointment um, and just to talk about the, little, the salon experience itself a little bit. There are some things that you might have questions about that I didn't answer and I'd love to hear from you, but otherwise, please enjoy the rest of the film. Thank you for being kind about the fact that I just got back from work and threw on a sweater to do this really quick. 
keep following along and thank you as always for being supportive of everything that I do. And, um, I can't wait to see you guys on here again soon. Okay. Bye.